ACME Acme Southern Nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're here to check out some cool models, and there are a ton of cool models on the display tables. You ain't gonna believe this video. You gotta check all these out. Let's check out some cool models. It's a 32 Ford shock three window coupe. It's a resin body by Jimmy Flintstone. Now, is that the same body as your purple one? Same, same body as the purple. That was sitting in this spot last year. Same yep. place. Man, I'll tell you what, you're too, too, too for two yeah. me. You need to put a straight across like that. We did a oh, tub the rear end and the back. Back half saw the 66 Nova with a 66 or 67 Chevelle rear end and tires out of the 67 Chevelle. Nice. All the chassis is 30 Model A coupe. Uh, engine is 30 Model A coupe with uh, resin casted blower intake from the old Stacy David kit and the uh, Hillborn injection resin cast out of the Willis 41 Willis gas and the uh, scoop on the engine is a resin part. Out of the Tony Nancy Dragster. Okay. And uh, we went with the brass, all the brass stuff on it because it just looked good with the paint color. Yep. So uh, we did brass rod for the grill support. And we did some brass tube up on the spreader bar. Use champagne gold accents on the headers and the wheels. It's got a it's got a mag by. Uh, Morgan Automotive Detail. I did all the injector lines, throttle cable, ProTech uh, radiator, braided radiator hose, 3D printed blower belt by my good friend Dan over at Pine Needle Customs. It's got, uh, it'll be impossible to see, I'm sure, but it's got 3D printed bomber seats that my buddy Dan did over at Pine Needle Customs, too. Yeah, those are about impossible to see. Yeah. It's tough to see in a chop, oh, yeah. chop coupe. It's got a, some brass exhaust and a pappy plate for Fred Henry because we did this as an appreciation build to Fred Henry. Cool. I love that build. Thanks. It's got a spastic color shift paint on it, RC paint, in 2K clear. Very nice. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Sure, I've got got a bunch of you know I've got a lot of stuff in the, in the boxes. Right. Just start pulling whatever, and uh, I know the frame is um, raised up a little bit, kicked up in the back a little bit, and uh, went with a Hemi and yeah, that, that's what I noticed first thing. First thing, yeah, and I'm trying to use uh, some of the same parts that's in that kit, you know, the bell. I uh, first thought about using the frog mouth thing, and I said, no, nah, these sort of make it pop in the engine. So, and the last thing I did was all the detail and the uh, brake lines, spark brake lines, alternator. And, and, it, it, and it's got that one thing that's missing that really separates the good guys from the wannabes and like me. There's no lower radiator hose. So. Uh, <laughs> well, we won't tell no one. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a Rebell 3232. We decided to open the trunk. They're not everybody's thing, but I've kind of enjoyed doing decals. It comes out in the 29 Roadster kit. Oh, wow. The tail lights are awesome. Yeah, that. That's You recognize the kit that came from? A lot of people hate it. How about the owl car? It almost fit perfect in there. I had to do just a little bit of trimming in the. And putting, you know, in the corners of it. 
I it, 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 it really makes the room stand out. Yeah, that is nice. Uh -huh. I like that. And there's another cool, cool feature I like. Look through the um, inch grill. Yeah, and you, the skull. Yeah. Yep, I see that. <laughs> and my son and I just talked about the, how the overdone the skull thing was. I said, yeah, I won't put skulls on That's mine. That's subtle, though. And then, yeah, you gotta really got to be looking for it kind of, you know. But it was a, a, a challenge on this one is to get it sit right. I like it really low in the front, so chop everything away that, you know, that gets in the way of that. Yep. They got to sit right. Yep. And the top chop's got to be right. And this is like a Bonneville chop. It's, it's way down there. Oh, yeah. This car is really, uh, really detailed, too. I don't know if you can see some of this. Well, it's, I really got in the zone, I guess you'd say, in the engine detailing. But there's pretty much a lot going on there. Spark plug wires, uh, fuel lines, uh, cool, cooler, Oil cooler lines. What well, is nice? Yeah. Fun. Uh, you get in there and you get in that zone, like yep. I said. And it's amazing. You amaze yourself, you know, at what you're actually capable of doing, you know. Exactly. If you've got a, if you've got a fairly steady hand. Uh, Very love, nice. I love this hobby and I love the people. And it's just a great, great, it is. great experience. It is. Well, great build. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Four two seven. Differences is insane. <laughs> the only thing I did to this, only thing I did was drill out the gun barrels. This one, there's over a hundred. All the raised detail you see on the hull, the recess, that's all scratch built here. All this stuff is scratch built. For this one, I didn't have to. I just put it together and painted it. But the, to see the difference in the tooling technology was just mind mind blowing. Yeah, and um, I had built this thing before and exploded. So you had to put the Another so I put it all back together. We did it. Four, two, so zero, all, one. all of the white is paint. Yeah, so it got built twice. And what really got me is um, they had the, it was white metal with chrome plating. I built this years ago. It says on the bottom when I built the plug in the box, so we have to chrome plated it off. It's like a chrome board. And you have to do it. And I can bring on a pack. Which one? 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 Which
Street 55 Chevrolet and it, it, it fought me from the beginning. I already had a complete chassis built. All I had to do was paint the body and it kept fighting with me and would not let me make it slick and shiny. So I just caved in and said, okay, here we go. And I started scratching strategic places on it. And Happy little accident, huh? Broke out the Vallejo streaking and rusting and staining kit and went to town. Plug wired it and plumbed the uh, lines. A lot of it was scratch made. 
had, had to scratch make the return spring for the throttle linkage. Um, 3D model specialties, carburetors. Um, it, uh, it ended up a really fun build. It yeah, really very did. nice. The body was to 70 GTO from AMT. Yeah. And it was a really bad kit, right. and it needed a lot of body work. It does. The engine is a mixture of all kinds of parts. The turbo setup, as far as the turbos and the headers, was 3D model specialties. The intake was scratch built. The turbo tubes coming from the intake to the inner cooler was uh, made with solder. Um, oh man, there's so much scratch. Yep. Last digits, three, nine, five. Three, nine, five. See inside that? Yeah, that's when he was building, is. they have the build off. Yeah, that's where the beauty is. Yeah. He did an amazing job. You can't see any of it. No. It would have been neat if he lit it up inside. Yeah. Uh, one I mean, time he was thinking about that, I thought, yeah. when he was doing it. That is where the beauty is on that kit, yeah. on that build. Yeah, I was looking at some of your old hot rod shows last night. The real car stuff? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. For the for the juniors, we've got to make it and take it back in the uh, back in the back room. If you go out the back door, turn right, right across the hall, it's free. Yeah, you're green Mustang, sweet. 
All you gotta do is sit down and make it easy to take. It's like, shh, I'm gonna turn you to. All right, how about? Yo, red, uh, not red. Two, two, two. Were you 62? I was sitting there. Last three digits. That was one of my favorite. Two, two, two. I love that one. Give me a favor. Would you hand that to that young gentleman there? Oh, I got it. Yeah. There you go. Say again? Who has the 2-2-2? That gentleman right there. Real tight the film in here. Tell you what, I, I've seen kids in a candy store, but you've got a grin on your face that won't quit. <sighs> Thank you for playing. Appreciate your participation. Seven Chevelle frame. I had to shorten it on, do a lot of modifications under the front suspension. I did unfortunately use the Chevy Big Block for the uh, the power plant, which it looks really nice, and I like a tunnel ram. Sometimes it's good to, to move away from supercharger and have tunnel ram. So I thought it looked good. The interior, I do have aluminum tubs, which you can't see them. So I don't know why I did it. Uh, the interior um, has a few little modifications, some custom seats and things like that. I use the uh, I have uh, 3D printed wheels and uh, tires, and it, it, it turned out good for a first time kit bash. Looks great. But yeah, I had a great time. And coming in a little box like that, I don't think I could have asked for a cooler color tire in on this, uh, on this, on this big round body in there. Yeah, it did. It turned out great. And it's been a good Yeah, and then all right, I want to let everybody know that SCMA is having a show. Don't yeah, that's what me and hope it don't snow. Well, he built out show and contest. It's on January 21st. That's the... This one? Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate your participation. Pro Street Group Bill, which is hosted by Dylan each year, I always like to jump into it because I'm, I don't say I'm a Pro Street King. There's another guy that's deemed that. But this is the one that I did for him, uh, did for the Pro Street Group Bill this year in 2022. Uh, I love the Bullet movie with Steve yep. McQueen. Just love great that movie. movie, great movie. So I was just like, well, I'm gonna do it. Uh, if, <laughs> if Steve McQueen would have lived, what would he have? Uh, what would he have done? He would have kept the car because he was a motor. He was a gearhead too. And he would have kept the car and he finally said, I'm tired of that car being in here. He just sent it off and this is what he would have done to it. So he would have put a big, uh, I feel that he would have put a blown 429 Boss engine in it, pro streeted it, kept the interior, went with the uh, British Racing Green, uh, even did the, uh, even the uh, old style American wheels like was on the car in the movie. I just did an offset with them and did that. And then just uh, kind of just Played with it up underneath, used Pegasus uh, brakes as far as the detail brakes and all that. But that was just, you know, just something fun to do. Again, measure twice, cut once on the hood. Then uh, the 69 Camaro convertible. This, 
this was actually another pro street from i think it was 2019 i got tired of building working on it and i put it back in i finished it this year so this is actually i think the 2019 pro street group build that i started and i'm kind of gingerly picking this one up because it's really a i did all i didn't do a back half. i did a back half but this is all fabricated framework uh from here back this is the kit frame all the way up through here so i just decided to do a four link on it fabricate all the uh, uh tubs there's no tubs in it. that's why it sits so low but it's the uh that's the 69 uh camaro z28 convertible kit that was the indy pace car for 69 yep. so and of course uh this was the uh it, it came with a 427 uh i just did the blower uh put the blower on it used uh parts by parts parts as far as the distributor hoses uh hoses of protect and again measure twice cut once on the hood actually i measured twice cut three or four times once i've tried to, do, to keep doing the fit but the kit decals sucked on this thing i hate to say that because when i started trying to get them i was laying them down back in here and they started disintegrating and i was just like you know what take them off so i got the ruler out and just started laying out the deck straps and that those are painted on so very nice used a lot of the uh, uh photo edge i had a photo edge kit for it so i just kind of just went crazy with all that very cool for us. this is the most fun i get to have all day all right let's see how about another ticket two nine zero two nine zero this is the uh, Unified Scale Auto content creator of YouTube. This is a group bill. Well, it's not really hosted, but this is what uh, Lucas C. and Mark Batson, we're all kind of got together and just, this was what he chose kit-wise. This is one of the monogram uh, 70 model Plymouth uh, GTXs. One of Mark's favorite builds as far as what he always liked, but we get to do whatever uh, we wanted to do to it. Either go box stock, go wild, do a street freak, uh, which really is what I kind of deemed this one as, and I'll set it back down. Uh, took anybody that's familiar with the kit, I cut out all the seven, or actually nine foot tall battery <laughs> that's in the, in the engine bay. Opened it up just like a true uh, gasser would be back in the uh, 70s. Went with a big block, a uh, big Hemi, uh, blown Hemi. Uh, everything that I did to it is just pretty much what I added wires, plugs, uh, some of my casted parts as far as the lower. Into, What's the underneath look like for uh, the under, underneath of it is a lot of kit, some kit bashing. Uh, I did take uh, a Dana rear end and put some blocks up under to kind of give it the stance. Yep. <clears throat> The wheels, uh, tires and wheels in the back are actually 125th scale Pro Street tires, which in scale they really look a lot like uh, like the old N50s, uh, like you would see. Uh, kit just parts box tires uh, and wheels. Underneath, uh, this is the axle assembly out from a Gasser. I think it's the Ravel Gasser, uh, one of the wagon kits that they had. And just uh, just put give it the stance that it's got. Uh, K and S tubing up underneath as far as the uh, exhaust, the, the uh, mufflers. Uh, those are just some of my casted pieces that I like to do. And just a lot of a heck of a lot of detail as far as detail painting on it. Just a lot of taping and a lot of spray on the exhaust. Cool as that. Thank I love you. That color. Interiors just pretty much box stock. Uh, just really just just like you would see if it rolled off of the showroom floor uh, to accommodate for the blower. Uh, just had a lot of measuring. My daddy used to say measure, measure twice, cut once, but <laughs> yeah. took a little filing and sanding. So just nice. taking careful, careful measurements on that. Very cool. But that's that one. What Any else other? you got? Oh, just a couple of old box kits. This is the uh, Matthew and I. Uh, back during the summer, we wanted to do a buddy build of the uh, of this, actually this kit here, the 69 Hurst Olds AMT kit. Uh, a lot of my builds are inspired by what I see uh, either through the interweb. There's a local uh, one to one scale car sales that uh, they had one of the, they had actual, had an actual 69 Hurst Olds 
uh, Pro Street. And when I seen it, I, I was like, hey, I want to build it just like that. So I just took everything as far as the kit, everything that would come out of this kit is what you see minus. And if you flip over, this is what I like using where I take the 67 Chevelle Pro Street back half and use everything and incorporate that. It takes a little trimming, fitting here and there, but it uh, it pretty much uh, fits the bill for what I wanted to do. That's but good. everything from right here forward is all the AMT 69 Hurst Stoles kit. And everything, and uh, even the wheels, the wheels are even the kit wheels. Uh, that's how, uh, that, that these come with the kit, but I took the took inserts, like I, I think I did a tutorial on them and just took the original, uh, took these kit wheels and did offsets with them and used the Pro Street meats on it. And just built a little display to kind of put lipstick on the pig. But uh, that was a fun build. I really enjoyed that. And then Matthew, uh, of course, he, he uh, we decided to set ours up. And I'm sorry that he put the Ford engine in it to make all the Chevrolet owners, but awesome build for what he did. I mean, the paint job on his is just phenomenal. But we had fun. We had fun going back and forth with each other, texting each other with it. So when we decided, you know, with Acme, we're going to set them side by side. Yeah. March 4th, the MDA Quality Model Car Show, and that is located in Bergman Center, Roanoke, Virginia.
No problem at all. Enjoy. All right. Oh, good hit. That is so cool. What all did you do to it besides anything and everything? Um, there's a lot of 3D printed. There's a lot of machined. I, the biggest thing is I opened the trunk and detail scratch built the underside of all the trunk. Okay. I fit the chassis to fit the body just right. Um, the whole front bonnet was cut off and I used the one out of a Pontiac 2 plus 2 and then scratch built the top rails. Um, the rotors and hubs are from um, Dancing Bear machine products and the calipers are 3D printed as are the jack stands, um, the filler tube and the filler ring are all machined. It's all aluminum hand, aluminum in the back and the uh, fuel cells all scratch built with a model car garage photo etch top. I've been admiring that build all day. <laughs> Thank you. I come over. The, the paint is all the Tamaya little 10 ounce uh -huh. jars of lacquer. It's the mica red. And then I use DuPont Chroma Clear over top and it's sanded and polished with 2000, 3000. Cool. And it's uh, power slide decals from Mike's. Very nice. I like that. Well, like, trading, okay. well, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to sell the contract and I say, hey, you want to check out the vendors at the show? Go over to Tim Brown and talk about it. No problem. Because <laughs> <No problem. laughs> okay. you always get better video. Like I said, he took you out. Push the decal. Punisher. Yeah. 
So if you've been tagged, please yeah. check your car. You got a pink or a model car is tagged. Bring it up to the stage. I know, and, that, and we got kind of chastised for it. Is that the surprise bill? Yeah. I kind of figured it might be. So, I don't know if that is Monday for call. Man, I don't know. I'm going to debut this at uh, Acme. Okay. So, I still want, you know, I'm not doing a final one. So. Man, you zip through that quick. Hmm? You zip through that quick. Yeah, I'll uh, say so yeah, I did, but I was not. I'll throw it. I was, let me just put it this way, Jim. I was an asshole with an elbow. Well.
use a little bit of that old one. two cabs together. Pretty slick. Splash dash 
That's all we're going to do. Just taking pictures. <laughs> we just moved, so I don't have a place to build. Yeah. Have you taken them just for yourself? No, no sir. This is one of the YouTubers. Oh, oh yeah, which YouTube channel? We got a bunch of them here that's getting popular, man. They're, yeah. they're pretty good pictures. I like, I like the YouTube. That's what I get all the latest tip. Yeah, what's the paint guy? Oh, that does Gundams? So you did over here? I don't know. Did it be something? Say Barbados. But anyway, uh, reviewed a airbrush the other week. I ordered it. It's neat. It wasn't but 38 bucks. It's the first time I've ever. All them years I bought it, I used that shape. Somebody up there, it's crazy people picking kind of time. I know, I'm moving to the not, 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 some pieces to put it on display. Oh, okay. A little so, pit stop, huh? So people can see what's underneath the bodywork. How long you got in this build? Um, three and a half years. I really don't know how many hours. It's sort of hard to tell. I'm guessing, I don't know, four or five thousand maybe. Yeah. Maybe not that many. You know, it's I don't keep track. Right. It's better off you don't know. Where's this sit when it's at home? I have a, a display case, a glass door case that this and a few others are in. Definitely a work of art. Thanks. Work of art, my friend. Thank you. So all your uh, wheels come actually yep. off just like a real car, don't they? They do. I just don't have the, uh, the air gun. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, that's, that's a work of art all in itself. Jesus. That's amazing. Yeah, I want a picture of that too. Very nice. I got it. Pictures at the top.
His car. want to see some swap meet footage check out the swap meet that video will be linked at the end of this video you ain't gonna to want to miss it because there's a lot of great deals and a lot of great bargains a lot of cool kids